So, Matt here from Fab. In this vid, I am showing you how to bridge a gap like that with MIG. Right, this is something that you're going to come up against at some point. Um, not ideal scenario. So you, you're wanting to fill this up and you've just got too big of a gap to where if you start running that weld in, it's just going to drop through the hole uh, and it's just going to be a mess. Um, I know you uh, have this problem quite a bit, don't you? So there's a few uh, different ways of doing this, like different techniques people use for doing it. Um, one way is you could get a piece of TIG wire, lay that in there, tack it on, that's just going to catch the weld, run that in, that will just burn into the weld if it's hot enough. But the, the way I do it, uh, which I'll show you now, is basically, say for that, I would probably just do a tack every uh, 10 mil. And what it will do is just catch the weld just as it's about, because what will happen is you'll start here, if you tried to weld that like that, you start in this corner and you'll probably get about 10 mil along and it will just drop through. So you're just putting a tack in at the point where it's going to fall through. So um, tack every 10 mil to just catch the weld and then you can run the full weld all the way across. And um, the tacks, you can do the tacks cold because it doesn't matter because they're going to get um, burnt into the weld anyway. So. Um, you can turn the welder down a bit just to make it a bit easier to get the tacks on, you know, just to, to fill this. You could, you could go along, you know, weld it all out, tack it with some shitty cold tacks and then just grind it all out, and, but that's just a load of work, whereas this is just a quick technique you can use if you come up, if you come up against this, you want to get over it quick without moving. Uh, you can do this and it, it works, so I'll show you. So there you go, managed to run a pretty hot continuous uh, weld along there, which that definitely would have just fallen straight through that hole if I hadn't just stuck those tacks in there. It's a bit thinner, three mil. I got a bit like kind of tighter gap here. Probably get just get away with that a little bit. And then as it gets further on, it gets bigger. So I'll do like a tack you know, a bit more spread out at this end, maybe one every 15 mil. And by the time I get up to here, I'm going to have to do them pretty tight. Um, to uh, stop that burning through.
All right, so this uh, just my little trick for um, getting you out of a um, hole. Obviously, in an ideal world, in an ideal world, uh, you know everything wants to be prepped. So you don't need to do this, but you don't always live in an ideal world. It's a good little trick to know, it's something I use, you know. So yeah, next time you need to uh, fill a gap, give it a try. That's it for this one. Cheers.